Hello, everybody. It is Monday here. It's Monday about noon. I haven't even opened up my blinds yet. And Mondays are always like, I don't know, a hectic day in the house. Kids are getting back on schedule, getting in school. And, you know, Scott's usually working late. And I am doing a lot of computer work on Mondays. And then, you know, probably recording a video and then housework. And, it just is a night when dinner is easier in a crock pot. Now, instead of using just my normal crock pot, I'm using the Pressure Cooker XL. I do plan on doing a big review, a giveaway, and all of that coming up very soon. I'm just testing it out. I want to make sure that I really have tested this out before recommending it or before um, giving it away. So tonight for dinner, we are going to use, like I said, the Pressure Cooker XL, and we are going to make a very simple recipe. This is chicken ranch tacos, and you really can't get easier than that. You need some chicken, obviously, and I'm just using the chicken tenderloins because I got these on sale. But three or four chicken breasts is more than enough because you will shred it up after a while but it's very, very, very simple. So you're just gonna take your chicken. I don't even have to touch anything. Put it right in. Just like that. Okay, so like I said, the chicken's in. We're gonna add about a cup and a half of chicken stock. So in there, that goes. Then we're going to add one packet of the Hidden Valley Ranch, and you're going to add either one packet or about three tablespoons of just some taco seasoning. The ranch is in. Now I'm going to put in the taco seasoning. It's about enough. I'm going to stir it up. I mean, so simple, you guys. And then, okay, so now we're going to put the lid on this big bad boy. And we're going to make sure it's where it can build pressure, which is that little button. And I'm going to put slow cook on. And I'm going to put it on for six hours. And it will start building up pressure. That's what that means. And this really takes about five hours, maybe five and a half. So while I am busy doing everything I need to be doing, this is going to do what it needs to do. And I love this, that it's got the slow cook feature. So maybe you're somebody who doesn't have a pressure cooker, or maybe you're somebody who doesn't have a slow cooker, or somebody who doesn't have everything you need to, like, can vegetables or fruits. And I really find that so far this has worked absolutely great. This is like all in one and that's what I'm loving. So we're using again the slow cooker setting today and we're just going to let it cook dinner while I get busy doing everything else. Now to go with the chicken ranch tacos, I am doing like the, what's it called? It is the, um... I don't know, the famous queso dip. I'm doing um, this Velveeta and this cheese in a different crock pot. But that's not gonna take very long at all. So um, probably about an hour before dinner, I'll get it in a smaller crock pot and that will be um, served right along with the chicken ranch tacos. Okay, so I'm making like our side to go with dinner and I know it's just like queso, but I have the half of Velveeta in this Rotel. Just like that. Lid on and it will do its own thing while we're waiting on the rest of dinner to cook. Okay, so dinner is basically done. So we have the meat for the chicken ranch tacos and basically it's just chicken meat and um, or chicken breast or tenderloins, whatever you have. Taco seasoning and a ranch packet in the slow cooker. So that's completely ready. Over here, I had turned it back on because it got a little chunky and a little warm. I have the Rotel and um, cheese. I made some onions for anybody who wants them. I have a tomato that doesn't look that good, but it's winter. I wish I had an avocado. I forgot to get one. I have tortillas. I have the little dippers and some taco sauce. And I also have these little bowls so they can put some of their cheese in it. And that is our dinner. And um, as everybody wants to eat, they can just come in, 
make their little um, chicken taco and grab some queso and enjoy dinner and it will stay warm until Scott gets home. And that's the great thing about this power pressure cooker. Number one, it's got the keep warm cycle, so we can do that. I guess I can unplug it. Um, and it's also a slow cooker. It's also a pressure cooker. It is um, also great for canning and preserving. So that made our chicken really good. I'm sorry about the lighting. It has changed on us. It is night. It's been cooking for a while. And I'm going to yell at the boys so they can come eat. I also just got sour cream out, which I forgot. Hello, you guys. So tonight we are having a very simple dinner of hamburgers and french fries i mean you really can't get simpler than that this is a family favorite for my kids they love hamburgers these are big quarter pounders and i'm just going to cook them inside it's freezing here tonight and i'm actually cooking these um on top of the stove i'm not putting them in the oven they really want them cooked normal and so that's what i'm going to do that's our dinner tonight, and I'll show you what it looks like plated up in a few minutes. Okay, so here is dinner tonight. It's super simple, and it's just the fries, the cheeseburger, and I was going to um, slice up some fruit, but I didn't realize we were out of a lot of our fruit, and so I'm going to have to get some more at the store this next week but this is a very simple dinner and it's a dinner that's often requested by Jackson hello everybody so tonight we've got Zane in the kitchen and we are making chili it's not one of Zane's favorites but it's really cold here and it's a hearty meal so we got the um, onion chopped up we got the ground beef out we got some canned tomatoes the chili beans we we blend up we parade them um, I don't like beans. Zane really don't like beans. Jackson's not a huge fan. Scott's like the only one, and he's not going to miss them because we made it this way for years. Got some garlic saw ready minced and some olive oil, plus a lot of spices. So I'm just going to start the hamburger and the onion, and then drain the grease off, and then add in everything else. Okay, so in here we have the ground beef, the onion, the garlic, a can of tomatoes, the um, blended up chili beans. I have chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and just a pinch of sugar in here. And um, yeah, I added in some bow tie pasta and that's gonna finish cooking and I'm gonna make the peanut butter sandwiches. So here they are, and we add a little bit of syrup in the peanut butter. It just kind of sweetens it up just a little bit. Got some crackers out. And this is one of those meals that as people come in, as people want to eat, they can totally fix it up on their own and just grab a sandwich and a bowl of chili. Okay, so here's dinner. A hearty pot of chili, and I have, like I said, the bow tie pasta in it. Yum. And some peanut butter sandwiches and a little bit of syrup some crackers here is what dinner is tonight i hope you guys enjoyed and it's such a super easy hearty meal that you can make for your family it doesn't take much time chili doesn't need all day it needs about 30 minutes and once you brown your hamburger and your onions you basically just dump everything in a lot of times i add a red bell pepper to this as well but tonight i just kind of forgot but super delicious super easy i added probably about four to five tablespoons of chili powder, um, probably about a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, and a couple teaspoons of salt, and that's our dinner. So here is dinner, everybody. It is chicken quesadillas, and you guys have seen me make it a million times. This batch has onions, that batch does not. We got sour cream and salsa. That's dinner tonight. Hello, everybody. So I am making dinner tonight. I went ahead and breaded some pork chops these are boneless very very easy the kids really like them breaded so that's what i did i got some of these baby dutch yellow potatoes so i'm going to make parsley potatoes with those i know this is a little bit switched up from the menu and i've got some peas out some frozen peas and some frozen corn because zane likes 
corn more than peas. So I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna fry these in just a little bit of oil. I'm gonna get these potatoes on to boil and um, I'll just get the um, vegetables in a little pot or in a bowl in the microwave. So that is what we're cooking for dinner tonight. And actually we've kind of had a peaceful day in a lot of ways. And so it was hard to get into the kitchen tonight. And I just went ahead, breaded the pork chops very, very simply. And there are some different seasonings in the flour, but you know, this is a relatively easy weeknight dinner. Okay, as one batch of pork chops gets done, I have a old roasting pan here, looks kind of beat up, with a rack in it and a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna put our pork chops, as they get finished, go right in. And then, I just cover it with aluminum foil. Now you can stick it, you know, on your counter or in a oven on warm while you get the rest of the batches of pork chops or whatever you're cooking done, even chicken. And it will kind of steam and it will keep them super, super tender and delicious with that water kind of below. So to go with dinner, I am making some of these Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I think they are delicious. And I use two boxes, so this is two boxes and I make them rather big. You can see like the size. Um, I don't like them really, really tiny. And I use two biscuits. I don't use extra cheese. That's one thing I do not do because it dries them out too much. So it's a half a cup of cheese per box and just some water and you're good to go. I'm gonna get these in the oven to start baking. Okay, so here's dinner served up. I don't use these glass plates much anymore, but I actually love them. Um, now, this is actually a 30 minute dinner, you guys, even with the bread. It's just a matter of how you start things. So you start the bread first since it takes the longest. You get the potatoes going. You go ahead and bread your pork chops while your potatoes are starting. And a quick little vegetable, that is dinner tonight. Looks delicious. These red lobster rolls are absolutely amazing. They're so, so, so good. That's what we're having for dinner, and I can't wait to eat. Now we are here. There's Jackson and Zane. Scott is absent. We are eating at Manny's tonight. We got a gift card um, for Christmas, and we are gonna enjoy some wings on this one, cheeseburger on this one, and I don't know, but we're figuring so we out. have a steak sandwich, yum. Zane's got a plate full of wings. We got a cheeseburger, and we miss Scott, but he's working hard. And um, I'll take him home. I'll put that on my bruschetta bread. <laughs> Butthead. Thank you. Okay, you guys, it is Saturday night here. We have it dinner done. Basically, it is just soup and grilled cheese with some crackers. I know the lighting isn't the best. The boys are having chicken noodle. Scott and I are having um, tomato. And I just kind of added some crackers and some grilled cheese to kind of beef it up just a little bit. But it is basically a meatless dinner for Scott and I. And just a little bit of meat in the chicken noodle. And that is our dinner tonight. Thank you guys for watching this week's meals. I'll be back next Sunday with a new What's Cooking vlog sharing our meals from Sunday through Saturday. Stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on my name and get subscribed if you're new here. I hope you got some dinner menu inspiration meals out of this video. If you have any questions or comments, I'll leave those below. I'll see you next week with a new video. This is our dinner tonight.